we're going to talk on the Aerolyze device. The first thing that I want you to notice when we have the device up here, this is portable, okay? So I think one of the things you have to think about first is th there's a cover here, okay? So this all, all the handpiece fits in and you can carry it to your other offices. Or if you're in Manhattan where you have three or four rooms, this is a wonderful device because it doesn't take up space. Okay, and, and again, to me, that is a home run right there. This is called the Aerolase LightPod Neo, one of the most versatile devices that I have in my clinic. It is 650 micron short pulse 1064, which is different than any other 1064 laser you've ever had or, or been associated with or used because it's painless. This very short pulse takes away the pain. The number one indication in my clinic is for acne, all right? So again, take it away from the cosmetic side of things and move it to the medical side. However, because it's 1064, it treats everything that you really think about in the, in the laser business. And it may not be the greatest one for this or that or whatever, but it does everything. So pigment, vascular, um, skin tightening, hair, hair pseudofolliculitis, all of these things are treatable and dark skin. We'll, we'll show the device and we'll talk about the, again, it's a 650 a microsecond technology, lots of power, a lot of FDA indications. And again, I'm, I'm sort of just gonna go through the picture. So now can we go to the patient treatment now on oh, Julie? So we're treating acne and again, darker skin type, um, does she have any kind of discomfort, Julie? It's painless. All right, so she, again. She feels nothing. She feels nothing. And this is what you hear time in and time out. So again, look at my results and the results that I'm showing you um, on some darker skin patients, on some uh, other patients. It works both with inflammatory and non-inflammatory acne. And again, these are some of my patients that we treat. In the real world, I will combine this with medicines. In the, this kind of world, with what we were doing, we really weren't. Um, but these are the kind of results that you can achieve um, and get some very happy patients. I use it, in, again, in combination with other, th with other medicines in my clinic. And again, you see here um, what we're able to achieve. So this is the person I want you to watch and sort of put in the back of your mind. So this is my patient who failed isotretinine four times. I put her on each time, I monitored her, I upped the dosage, I kept her off for six months or three to six months in between, and she was like this and begged for something different. And here she is six, month, six treatments, 13 months later. So I always tell people, either I cured her with the DO or it was just time for her acne to go away. I don't know which one. Okay, I'm not, I'm not telling you, but this is, was an incredible result, but I see this all the time um, in my patients with really bad acne. So this is a device I turn on at eight o'clock in the morning when I start seeing clinic patients. I don't do the treatments, my staff does it, and we shut it off about five o'clock in the afternoon. We do on average eight to 10 treatments a day. Um, when we did the numbers, it's actually my most profitable device. And I charge between, and again, this is what, one of the things I want Bruce to do, talk about, because he's in New York and I'm in Nashville. I charge between $150 and $200 per treatment. I see my patients every two weeks. It's totally cash. And again, you do the math. I do this four and a half days a week. Um, it, it's, a, it's a device that is, to me, a no-brainer. And again, with adjunct medicines, I get even better clearance because I'm tired of having to put people on a medicine and again, wait three months for them to get better. Because I always tell people if they're not better in a month, they're going somewhere else. And so I try to get my patients involved early. Every patient that comes into my office with acne, we introduce devices first visit. About half of them are, come to me because of the device world and the other half that doesn't, are not ready, within a month they're ready because they want to get better faster. And again, thank the drug companies. We have phenomenal new medicines. So again, we're very fortunate, and I use them all together. Bruce, you want to comment? Yeah, well, 
You know, I think this is really a, sort of a breakthrough technology because it's really one of the first times we have a laser that can actually treat, treat acne. And I think the way it works is by heating up the sebaceous unit and reducing the amount of output there and also destroying the acne bacteria, P. acnes. So um, we use it all the time as well. We charge a little bit more because we're in Midtown Manhattan, but, but a lot of patients want treatment and they want results right away. So I think for the first time we have a device that there's really no downtime. It's not, it's not painful, as my, Michael mentioned, and patients love the results, so, and it's very easily done. And I do, we compare it all, we combine it with so, acne medicines as well. So Doris said, how many treatments do we give? So I have no idea how many it is. I usually tell my patients it takes about two to four treatments. Okay, I don't have any kind of package deal. I treat every two weeks, if I can get them in every two weeks. I've actually done every week, um, but I'm much more comfortable doing every two weeks. Um, and again, it's a, it's a fee, so again, I have to be wary of the fee. What are you charging? Can I ask what you charge, Bruce? I charge 350. Okay, and I think that's fine. Weeks as well. you do, Neil, you want to say something? This actually is it's sort of a novel concept, but not that novel, because the laser genesis on the Zeo or Qtera technology was actually the first in terms of introducing shorter pulse 1064 NDA technology. It is an excellent acne technology. It heats the pilosebaceous unit. We did some biopsy studies with the 1064. It shrinks the sebaceous gland for about two to three months and it wipes out all the bacteria and inflammatory infiltrate. One nice thing about this also, uh, it also stimulates new collagen. You might not have looked at that yet, but that heating gives you some bulk heating from neocollagenesis. So it's an excellent entrance laser. For right, and, I, and while she's treating, I'll just, I'm not gonna talk about this, but I just wanna show, I'll, this is hair reduction. And this is some pseudofolliculitis patients of mine. It works very nicely also for uh, telangiectasias, vascular lesions. You can use it, obviously, it's 1064 as well. So little blood vessels and skin tightening. Look around the eyes. Um, and then vascular. Again, here's your vascular effects. This is really common. So I, the one night, so here I go to a lot of meetings, and I actually demo this at a lot of at a lot of meetings, um, and and sometimes I am actually put into the filler workshops, so I can take care of the patients that bruise after the filler <laughs> workshops, and I sit there and I just sit in a corner with my device, and the next day, usually two straight days, and I just treat people time, you know, that get it. And one of the meetings I go to is like half the participants that are sitting out there get treated. And so I just, and it's a, it's, you know, it's a nice way to show how we can do that. But again, the vascular effects are pretty good. And this is poikiloderma, which is vascular and pigment. And again, here's some really nice results here too. So I, again, little angiomas on the face. Recalcitrin port wines works as well. This is hard for me to get fathom. This is actually a one treatment case. Multiple treatments at the one treatment setting, and this is work out of Russia, so I can't verify it here, but you know, we've all seen this, and you know, whether you want to believe it or not, I'm just showing you. All right, and then pigment it works really well for as well. Okay, so that's the Neo. Any other comments or questions? The key to this is there's no consumables, it's portable, it's portable, it's portable and no consumables. <laughs> and again, I think that's important. And as we're gonna talk about other devices, again, that have no consumables, but have the whole, that have everything included. And again, you, you gotta start thinking about that depending on what you're looking for. Yes, ma'am. Any experience with uh, treatment of hydradenitis? With this? No. Hydradenitis, Supertiva is one of those toughies. The, one of the terms of the, the old terms it was acne inversa. Um, it's a tough one to treat depending on what you've done. I don't know of anybody that's ever studied this kind of device with it. Again, most of the times they're draining lesions and so forth when they come to us, so we're trying to do other things. Humira is FDA approved now for the treatment of, of hydradenitis. It was really cool having your name in the New England Journal of Medicine, so I'll take my one plug. It's the first time I ever did that, and I'll probably be the last time, but it was wonderful to see. <laughs> it really was. So that's good. Okay, but no, I don't have it. Does Bruce, any experience with HS? No. Okay. All right, well, we may look at that. All right, so we're going to move on, talk about...